seems like green business and sustainability in general isn't quite as prominent in the public mindset as it was a couple of years ago. Do you find that your customers still care? We do. In the general consumer's mindset, it's not as prominent. But I can tell you in the business arena, in our business customers, it's very, it's very prominent. It's probably, it's, pro it's as prominent as it was a couple of years ago, if not more so. While going green in some ways may no longer be at the forefront of the public discussion, FedEx says it is still looking for ways to cut fuel use on its 90,000 vehicles and 692 airplanes. With respect to our vehicles, we have a 20% uh, increase in uh, fuel economy by 2020. So that's a miles per gallon basis. Uh, currently, through our FY11, fiscal year 11 timeframe, we're at 16.6%. So we're 80% of the way towards our target already. And we're looking at a new goal as a result. I mean, we're making such good progress in that that we, we think that we can uh, set a new goal. Among their aircraft, FedEx says it has cut the amount of carbon emissions per package shipped by nearly 14%, mostly through a combination of more efficient routes and a shift to newer airplanes. The company recently increased its goal to cut its aircraft carbon emissions by 30% per package by 2020. But the shift to hybrid and electric trucks has been slower than expected. The company only operates 330 hybrid electric and 130 all electric trucks out of a fleet of tens of thousands of vehicles in North America. The big challenge, cost. Electric truck can be up to three times, between two and three times the expense of a uh, conventional, uh, you know, uh, petroleum-based uh, vehicle. Right. How much are we talking here? Like, how much does So, uh, I think Navistar has the E-Star vehicle, which uh, might be fifty to sixty thousand dollar range in a in a conventional vehicle. It's about one hundred and fifty thousand in an electric configuration. So it's a serious investment. It's a serious and investment. How long does how long is that payoff time? Well, here's the key. It's it's an upfront capital cost. But on the back side of it, on the operational side, from what we've calculated and what we've been observing for our vehicles, is it saves between 70 and 80 percent on operational costs. And the money saved is key. While cutting emissions makes for good public relations, companies like FedEx are still greening their operations to cut back on the hefty cost of fuel and ultimately boost the bottom line. Steve Hargraves, CNN Money, New York.